Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, October 2019, and bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so uh, cross your fingers for it. Uh, the first one here, which is the topic of our month, because I am a Scorpio as well, that is going to be the Two of Swords, followed by the next one, which is the challenge that we need to stand in front of, that is going to be the King of Cups, followed by the third one, which represents the best possible approach to all the situation, things that we can do so we can improve our circumstances throughout the month, that is to be the Seven of Cups, Followed by the next one, which stands as the uh, lesson that we are to learn throughout the month. And that will be the um, Justice card. And the last one for us, Scorpio, it is the supportive energies or energies that are going to help, you, help us throughout the month. Uh, we do have the Knight of Cups. So, uh, quite of an interesting one. But before we scrutinize the reading or I scrutinize the reading for you guys, uh, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the Two of Swords as a topic, followed by the uh, King of Cups as a challenges. Then it is the best possible approach in toward the endeavors throughout the month. That is going to be the Seven of Cups. Then it is the uh, Justice card, which stands as a lesson we need to learn. And then the, the last one, it is the supportive energies here of the Knight of Cups. Splendid. So, uh, Two of Swords as a topic, it's, it will be catalyzed by the Eight of Swords. Hmm. So, that is in an active supporters. And these two cards both are saying... Uh, kind of like it's not a withdrawal. The word that I'm searching is, it's like passive nature. But not because we are going to lack activities but it is because we don't want to make mistakes, okay? It will be just way too contradictive, either on an information or a standstill as well, that we are going to be very careful not to break a precious balance, either into our career or either into our relationship, while in the same time we are seeking a way how we can escape that routine. So take it that way, that throughout this month, uh, we will try to find a way how to uh, get out clean from a, a situation, either career-wise or our relationship-wise, that up until this moment have uh, restricted us or rather like had stifled us of doing something moving forward, okay? And that is for a reason because we are to understand a, a very simple, fundamental, but very neglected truth that our happiness is in is within our hands and if we allow the happiness to be in the hands of someone else 
then we are slave to that person, okay, and we are no, not free. So, uh, throughout the months, we will maintain the peace in between our partners into relationship, in between our partners into career, while simultaneously we are going to search leverage to take the edge and find ourselves um, having the upper hand and being on top of our marriage, our relationship, our career situation as well, and etc, etc. But it is very important, one, to... Um, um, how do I say it? Want to be true to to, to oneself in term of um, uh, in term in term of perception, because uh, I cannot go without example here. Because uh, let's give you that example that uh, some some relationship a uh, relationship is very bad. Okay, and while the the subject knows that the relationship goes in a very very bad uh, very bad path, it's moving on a very bad path. And it's uh, it's not working out. Uh, that, that person does not want to recognize the truth, and it's it's hoping <clears throat> that this relationship is going to improve miraculously on its own accord. A futile hopes that is. So we need to abandon all futile hopes and just you know understand the reality or acquire that perception that it is what it is, and we can only do the best we can with what we got or we got to take what we can get. So the challenge uh, here is going to be this person and that is the King of Cups and it is accompanied by the Empress card. So uh, the challenge is going to appear as a, uh, the challenge is very masked, all right? The challenge comes uh, in form of a uh, unexpected offer, a very tempting offer or unexpected proposal for a help one way or another. And why this thing is challenging here? Well, it is because uh, it will place our, um, our so-called, uh, our strafe or our stride moving on forward, it will, it's going to place it on halt for one or another reason. Now, these two car that person here, while capable of very deep emotions and it's a very balanced person. It's capable of well-found decisions, especially with the Empress next to it. That's the problem, okay? It's just, it's, it, it takes forever to, to make a decision. So that could be, for example, a proposal for a job, right? And you say yes, and you give your, your conditions and that person takes forever to answer your conditions. By the way, my brother had a similar uh, issue, not with the job, with something else, but it had a similar issue. So the point here as a challenge is that you shouldn't rely way too much on this helping hand or a attempting offer that come in your path. I mean, you can take advantage definitely from it, but just don't place all, all you got into it. Do not put all of your hopes into it, all right? Because with these two cards, also that person is daydreamy and as well, it's very prone of detachment. It's just sometimes it goes into those blank stages uh, of its life where it doesn't care for anything or it's kind of like it's very emotionally overwhelmed and can't think clearly, it can't do anything right and etc, etc. While for the rest of the time, it's quite of an exceptional worker, it's a very professional person or uh, like I said, it's capable of a deep, deep emotions. The, the problem here is that it is overthinking things way too much and it takes more time than needed to uh, to do something in general. So what is the best possible approach we can do throughout the month? We do have the Seven of Cups and it's catalyzed here by the Seven of Wands. And that is uh, that we need to do something different this time around and that is very well correlated with the first couple of cards of escaping the situation, just like I said, all right? Or improving the situation or attracting your situation, doesn't matter really. But whatever we are doing up until this moment, Scorpius, it obviously isn't working out. I mean, it does not provide us with the so-called change we need or the new enterprises we want and etc. etc. So we gotta do something different. How? Well, first we need to drop off our guard, all right? That is very important. We need to allow people to um, 
come into our world or to take part in our life as well. Because these two cards here are displaying exactly the, uh, the destruction of the barrier we have set for the rest around us. Uh, that could be trust issue, that barrier, I mean, could be a trust issue. It could be as well a sitting on a high horse type of behavior, or it could be uh, as well that uh, we, are, um, we are biased for the doom and gloom of a future relationship or a future cooperation and etc etc but we need to eventually uh, face those fears and we need to eventually uh, destroy that barrier which makes uh, our life in that direction whatever the barrier is taking place rather futile all right and then kind of like a um, an apt to uh, to grow and to, to to evolve if i may express myself that way so uh where we can start from well we can start dreaming big all right i mean and in, under dreaming big i mean that we can we can start dreaming for things that are very difficult to be achieved although not impossible because these two cards are pointing that should we should we allow to step outside of our comfort zone and drop off our guard our fantasies are they seeds growing or 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 yeah or how how do i say it i i are they a yeah are they fantasies or seeds growing well yeah yet remains to be of knowing and uh, while we are searching for you know a way out of our situation either because we are single forever or because we are jobless forever or because we are in a bad marriage or or something you know or in poverty uh, that does not obstruct us to dream big as a matter of fact we got to dream dream big because those dreams are is 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 the thing that is going to hold um, that is going to allow us to hang on in there and to have a fulcrum after we finally escape from this magic circle. So uh, the next one, it is about the lesson that we need to learn and that is going to be the um, Justice card accompanied here with uh, the Nine of Swords. Uh, the formation, it is a uh, active supporters and it, is a, uh, it, and it is everything that regards to our fear. And you have to ask yourself what you are afraid of. Are you afraid of being hurt by someone emotionally? Are you afraid of losing your job? Are you afraid of being single, for example, for the rest of your life? Are you afraid for your children, let's say? Those fears need to be faced. I mean, you need to recognize or rather like acknowledge that if you don't do something about those fears, you will never be able to or we will never be able to um, overcome those fears. And I will tell you what I am afraid of here. I will give example for myself. I am always afraid to ask because of the denial, right? I'm always afraid to ask and I prefer to do it straight away when the denial is not going to hurt, either for a relationship or either for a job. You know, I, I, I just ask in the very for example, second dates, or I ask in a very first business meeting, it's because after that, when you establish more deeper connection, it hurts more if you get denied. So that, that's my fear, and probably I'll have to work over it. But the point is that you need to acknowledge what your fear is, and you need to stand against that fear, because <clears throat> this month is going to teach us, uh, Scorpio, that... Uh, Everything has its consequences. Every action has its consequences. But we also need to acknowledge that uh, that I an 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 action also bears consequences. So what is gonna help us throughout the month? Uh, that will be the Knights of Cups, and that that is the energies that are gonna help us. It is the Knights of Cups followed by the uh, Eight of Wands, and I had that combination as a, as, as a matter of fact today with a client of mine. And it is a uh, very powerful one because it says that those energies are going to align the things in a such a way for us that the results are going to depend only on our hard work and not on our, uh, on our luck. Because luck is a B word, right? It is the, the B word. And while it may work in our favor, it may quickly turn around and slap us through the face. 
So very powerful energies. Uh, and I think that they contribute very well and they are um, promising a great results should, be, should we are willing to work for it, to work for overcoming our fears, to work for a, uh, escaping our uh, dead-end situations. Because with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, uh, those situations that we are finding ourselves stuck in, they are, uh, uh, to, to a big portion, to a high extent of them, uh, we are restricting ourselves in it. Just like in my example, right, to ask, okay? And that is my own personal limitation, my, old, my own self-imposed limitation that I can definitely overcome. And you can do with yours as well. It is just you need to look outside of the box, right? You need to acknowledge it and um, basically do something rather unorthodox for your beliefs. And it will breed results because the results, once again, will be defined by how hard we toil for it and not by what kind of a chance we got. So I guess it's not a good month here to uh, do lottery, you know, or going into casino and this kind of stuff, but it is a very, very good month for um, uh, building up our future. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our a, uh, monthly reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.